Hey, hello there. So in this video, we are going to discuss about bitwise operators in C++. Now bitwise operator, as the name suggests, work on individual bit of our data. Okay. So all other operator that we have seen previously, like arithmetic operator, logical operator, they work on a complete data, but these bitwise operator are a little bit special. They work on an individual bit of data. And this is the speciality of the bitwise operators. Okay. Now, if we categorize the bitwise operator, depending on how many number of operand they need to operate, we can categorize them into unary and binary bitwise operators. Okay. So in case of unary operators or in case of unary bitwise operator, we have a, a single bitwise operator and the name of that bitwise operator is bitwise not okay so you can see in this way we can represent bitwise not operator in c++ this is how it basically looks then in the binary bitwise category we have multiple operator we have bitwise left shift operator then we have bitwise right shift operator then we have bitwise and operator we have bitwise or operator and we also have bitwise x or operator okay so in total we have six bitwise operator out of six bitwise operator one bitwise operator is a unary bitwise operator and the rest five bitwise operators are binary bitwise operator okay there is no ternary bitwise operator so we just have two bitwise kind of categories unary and binary okay so let's quickly revise what are the bitwise operator we have in c++ so we have unary that is bitwise not this bitwise not is also called as negation operator okay so we are going to discuss each and every operator in much more detail and you will get to know what exactly is the meaning of each and every operator or what exactly each and every operator do okay then we have bitwise left shift operator then we have bitwise right shift operator then we have bitwise and operator bitwise or operator and bitwise x or operator all right now the most important thing about the bitwise operator is bitwise operators basically operate on the individual bits of the data or individual bits of the operand and we usually we use these bitwise operators for the bit manipulation okay so let's say we have let's say data let's say uh, we have a data which has a da its data in 8 bits all right now if we want to manipulate these 8 bits then we can make use of bitwise operator so whenever we have to manipulate the bits at that time we can make use of the bitwise operator so just remember this thing bitwise operators are usually used for bit manipulation the another important thing about the bitwise operator is they can be applied on the operand of type char short int and long that's it I mean you cannot apply the bitwise operator on the operand like float double oh no you can't do that all right so remember if you want to apply bitwise operator then the operand should be of type either character or short or int or long okay you cannot apply them on boolean you cannot apply them on uh, floats and you cannot apply them on double that basically mean in short if I want to say the bitwise operators can be applied only on integral data types just remember this thing okay you can apply the bitwise operator only on integral data type other other than integral data type you cannot basically apply the bitwise operators 